Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be speaking about going from the bottom of your document, being able to go back to the top of the page or back to the top of the document, and then we can also go down to the individual chapters if we want to. Now, before we go ahead and do that, just to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you be able to create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if you like what you're watching here, please make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Okay, so let's head on over there now. All right, now in this part of the video, we're going to be having a look at this mock document that I just created. Now, it's not hard. It's just, it's got uh, several pages. I'm just going to put this one down on the next page down here. Make sure it goes down to the bottom here. And as you can see, we have page one, page two, and page three. As you also can see in the footer section, I'll just double click here. I've added some text, and this is what's going to be taking you back to the table of contents. Click here to go back to the table of contents. So I thought it would make it easy for people to understand what they have to do. So to get started, let's go back up here. We need to highlight, we need to be able to turn this into a bookmark. So to do that, we highlight over the top of it. We now go to insert and we go over here to where it says link and we click on that. And then we go over here to where it says bookmark. And then I'm going to put in the term TOC as in table of contents. And I'm going to hit add. Now that I have that added there, we can move on to the next section. We can now go over here to page one. I'm going to highlight over the top of that. And while I'm there, I'm going to go back to the home section and I'm going to hit heading one. I'm also going to expand that back up to uh, size 48 again. And I'm now going to go here. I'm going to be turning this into heading one as well. And I'm going to be making that size 48 and doing the same for this one here, making sure it's heading one size 48 and we are started now we've started this let's now turn this section I'll just double click here and let's highlight over the top of that and we need to go back to the insert section and then go here to links we go to hyperlink section we go insert and while we're here we go click on table of contents and we hit OK now what that's going to do is if I was to hit the control button, that would immediately take me straight up to the table of contents. Now that we're here, we need to make sure that we add the cursor where we want it. So I want the cursor right there because that's where I'm going to be placing the table of contents. Now to be able to make your table of contents work in here, all you need to do now, as long as you have, have formatted everything to heading one, all you have to do is click on there, go to reference, go to table of contents and choose which one you want to do. So I'm going to left click on table of contents just here and there we have it. So all we need to now do is save this because I've already got my icon saved as table of contents. I'm going to just click it there and I'm going to have it there. It's going to come up as table of contents. I'm going to save this onto my D drive and I'm going to hit save. It may say I've already got it on there. I'll just replace it. There we are. And in just a moment, it's just going to come up as that. But I'm going to also save this as a PDF. To do that, all I have to do is click on that, click on there, and then take it up to PDF and then hit save. Yes, I want to overwrite the other one. Now, in just a moment, it's going to show up. And as you can see, it has a table of contents. Now, this is clickable. If I was to click on this one, it would take me down to page one. Now, if I want to go back to the top of the table of contents, all I have to do is click on that and it takes me back to the table of contents. Page three, go back down to the bottom, click on there, it takes me back up. Very quick, very easy, very simple. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, if you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.